Peace fam, this is your boy Jero. It is Saturday, 30th of August, 2019. How is everybody doing? Bright and early. Uh, I had the, the urge to go and get um, one of those sausage, egg, and biscuits from Wawa. You know, and uh, for heading back to the crib, I had to do some introspection going on, because for some reason, something woke me up out of my sleep, like 3.30, 3.30 this morning, and I know with all the events that have transpired this past seven days, it is nothing but questions that have been cognitively being processed and the answers are being manifested. And that's okay. That's quite okay. But before I go deep, I just want to throw this out there. Those who are going to be celebrating their Labor Day, for those who are going to serve, for those who have served and have family members, loved ones connected, given the ultimate sacrifice, maybe by deployment or the ultimate price. I want to say thank you and may your Labor Day be peaceful and somber. I, like you, have, have had the pleasure to throw the uniform on and serve with honor. And that opportunity has taken me all around the world. And I realize that sometimes where we start isn't always where we end. And I'm going to bring that home in my point. Because maybe right now, just maybe you might be in a choke point so what do you mean by a choke point Gerald I'm talking about you have been pondering something for quite a long time but you don't know how you're going to attack the scenario you've got you've got ideas on how you want to do it but yet you're afraid to do it but that's okay because as long as you cognitively think, as long as you give yourself permission, as long as you give yourself time, you will find the conclusion that you need. But see, to do that, you got to be transparent with yourself. Because once you decide to be transparent with yourself, you'll be able to speak your truth you'll actually see what's laid out for you and not worry about your your environment because your, your environment's always ever changing. That's why you got so many people walking around paranoid these days because 50% of their emotional self is not claimed. Therefore, that allows for distractions to come in. Just keep it 100. And that's a work in progress. I don't, don't, don't think that I'm at a place where I'm not vulnerable because we're human beings. We'll never be able to master the human dynamic. Not as long as we're on this planet. Because every day is an opportunity to master yourself. And we all can agree that the one thing that mankind will never do is to be able to master time. But we will learn how to respect it. That's why time management is so important. And you'll also come to understand that is also your greatest asset once you learn to see the difference between what you need compared to what you want. 
So this morning, all of a sudden, 3.30, I'm up. And I couldn't understand why. Didn't have nowhere to go. Didn't have no pertinent appointments that I had to take care of. But I realized at 3.30 in the morning, cognitively, my mind was racing. There was something that had to be figured out. But I understand that sometimes that is nothing but a trigger. So what did I do? I got up, turned the news on, watched it for a little bit, made some coffee with the intent of going back to sleep. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, you was up for three hours prior and you didn't rest. I mean, it takes a second for that REM sleep to kick in. Eventually, when it kicks in. But before your REM sleep can actually take hold, you've got to make sure that your mind is at a certain level so you can relax. But the irony of it all was this. I have no stress in my life right now. None. Not none. So, from past experiences, I've come to learn that because we're talking about the spiritual realm, a lot of times we will get messages or synchronicities from those people that are connected to us. Those people that have value directly or indirectly. And it can be also a precursor of preparation of to take notice of whatever the thought process may be. But not to bore you it's Labor Day weekend and automatically I think I want to say Thursday you started to see the ramping up of those in authority taking control over your local roads highways and byways why? because that's what they got to do Sometimes it all it takes is just a visual to get someone to cognitively take a second and assess. And that's okay. But this past uh, this past seven days, I'm gonna tell you what. When it comes to examples of manifestation, everything that I wanted to obtain. I did everything and like some of you already know I'm actually considering a possibility of jumping over the pond I'm at a, I'm at that crossroads right now where I'm really assessing if I want to continue on the path that I'm at here Virginia Beach, or my calling may be called to go, who knows, but I'm preparing for it, so with that being said, everything that I needed to do to start the process, it fell like, like dominoes, every little thing that I tried to do, that I needed to do, I was there in a timely manner and it was okay you know and then there were some things that I realized was going to require some time too you can't just you can't put C in front of B you've got to respect A there's a process to it all because when you're not methodical you're going to miss the, low, the smallest detail to get it done and I got that that was one of the, what, that was one of the insights that I got 
this week. I took care of a lot of stuff this week that, you know, maybe some of it was kind of daunting in the beginning, but I still made a concession to look at it because I realized that was something that indirectly was hindering my progression. And I was okay with that because the one thing that I've come to learn too is we're the sometimes we can be our worst enemies if and sometimes it comes from not acknowledging what makes our environment. How can you decide to change something if you won't acknowledge it's in your life? So you have to get to a place of vulnerability with yourself and be honest. So, and maybe that response or that reaction from what you're acknowledging is really your strength unclaimed. You ever thought about that? That very well may be the thing. Because I really believe, fam, I really, really believe that there are going to be some major, major changes that are going to occur. I mean, I just, I just feel it in my spirit. Like now, what's getting ready? What's getting ready to occur potentially in the next seven days? Everybody's, you know, has got their eyes glued to the potential hurricane during. And with that being said, um, for my friends that live in Florida, live in Georgia, live in South Carolina, the Northeast, off the Atlantic, make sure you prepare yourself. You can never be too prepared. And keep in touch. Keep in touch with those people that care so that we know and that we know that you're okay. But, yeah, so I got up this morning, and there was something that was just totally in the back of my, and I couldn't put my thumb, I couldn't put my finger on it to save my life. I couldn't. And I said, well, well, maybe it was something that um, I hadn't done. So the first thing I did, you know, got up and everything. After I knocked that out, the first thing I did was I started praying. I took that moment to give thanks to the things that I may have overlooked and those people that maybe I may, may have never heard, you know, I hadn't talked to in a minute. You know, because sometimes you got to speak people's voices into existence, you know, and that keeps you grounded, too. You know what I'm saying? I got a little audience in the back of the Jeep right now, but hopefully it won't be picked up on YouTube, but that's okay. So, so I got family. Um, I was looking and I saw that Charleston. Um, they're saying Wednesday, depending on how this storm, uh, how it moves, um, they're gonna they're gonna get major major impact because of it. So to my to my friends, my peoples down that way, like I said, prepare and make sure that you reach out and let people know that you're okay. Make sure you do that, you know? But on, on a different note, haven't you noticed that the more and more as time progresses, the less and less time we make for ourselves? It seems like greater, the more and more the distractions or the environment yields a desire to be validated. So it's like, for example, as I'm talking to you, you know, it's like you got to pee. You gotta, it's like, we used to call that people like to be hams, and you know, it's it's crazy. It's crazy because it's like you know, 
there's no there's no common courtesy anymore. But see, you can't sweat that stuff. You can't sweat it. You just got you just got to do you. Keep it moving. Continue to love yourself. Speak your truth. And everything that's meant to happen is going to fall as it should. Maybe it will come as you anticipate it. Maybe it won't. But if there is a delay in that, if there is a delay, just know there's a reason for it all. There's a reason for it all. And that's okay, though. That's all right. Because it may be the small nuances that are required for the big reward. And then it may also require that you may have to look at the details of things that have to be done. So don't trip. Just make sure that you stay the course. Stay vigilant. Stay focused. Stay true. But before you can even think about accomplishing anything, you got to be honest with yourself first and foremost. That's what will separate you from those who are living their lives compared to those who are imitating someone else's. Because that's what distractions do. So, hold on, y'all. Which validates my point. But when you speak your truth, you find your strength. Come on, Boober. And when you find your strength, you define your definition of who you are, your identity of who you are. But you can't even find that until you decide to love yourself. And guess what? Most people that have complexes, most people that spend more time focusing on the exterior instead of the interior, they pay. They pay a price that emotions cannot define. And that's sad because we also know this. Materialism will never give you peace of mind. It's just a vehicle. It's just it's just a means to pretty much be mobile on this earthly plane. But guess what? You're going to always have somebody that will never speak it. But then they'll be the first ones to complain why things are happening. And which is sad. It's so sad. And you can tell. Because those, those same people that won't even look themselves in the eye. They don't even know where they're headed. They think that life happens by fate. And, the, and that's the furthest from the truth. The energy you put out is the energy you're going to is going to return. Now, some people that don't have a spiritual foundation, they want to they want to minimize it and they call it fate. It's not. It's divine intervention. Always has been and always will be. But until you allow yourself to be vulnerable about it, will you properly be able to own it? And that's okay. But look, I ain't trying to ramble. It's Saturday morning. I still got a lot of day I got to do today. Because you know what? Joe got to make his money. But I hope that wherever you are, especially with this upcoming week, you are safe. Please allow yourself the ample time to turn every stone. And for those that may be in the the vicinity of, of uh, this hurricane, look here. Don't let your pride put you in a position that you can't undo. Dot your I's and cross your T's. It's better to be safe than in a position of regret. Why? Because, you, because you're blessed. Don't ever forget that. So, if you're feeling what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up. If you know somebody that needs this, to hear this video, give it to them. Like all my videos. Each one teach one, right? Why? 
because you're blessed. Peace.